All right, everyone, next up in our handstand progression, this is the uh, fourth in a series of four kind of modifications of the same kind of thing. Uh, we've done a an unsupported and a supported short seated abs, and we tried the supported long seated. Now we're gonna try to lift our butt up off the ground to make it a little more challenging. So what this does, with the, with the short seated position, when my knees are up, really high, it helps me find the right ab position. Bringing my knees up shoots my guts back towards my spine, which helps my abs, my deeper abs, not my six pack abs, my outside abs, it helps them gain leverage. So I do this as a method of assistance to doing this movement correctly. Therefore, if I bring those knees away, I bring the thighs away from the, the guts, it becomes harder. Now I need to actually use the abs on them on their own, standalone, to get this right position. So we're gonna start here. Um, in that context, it's actually easier to get the position when your butt is on the ground. But sometimes people aren't very flexible and having that tension on your hamstrings makes this, makes that version very, very difficult. So in my mind, this is the version you start with. So my butt is slightly elevated. It doesn't have to be this elevated, but it's slightly elevated and my legs are out straight like this. It's the same setup as our previous three variations. We're going to just drop our tailbone. We're going to sit our uh, head up tall and then bring that belly button back toward your spine. Try to find the right position. And then we're going to push. until your butt's off the ground. Okay, this is another one. It's really easy to try to just tuck your hips and crunch your head forward like this, but that's not what we want. If you catch yourself doing that, just, it's okay. Just notice, stop, sit back down, drop your tailbone, stand up tall, head up tall, and push again. Every exhale, try to draw your uh, belly button back toward your spine. <sighs> if you're having trouble doing that, you're probably crunching and bracing too much. You're probably, if you're having trouble breathing during this, you're probably not bringing your belly button back toward your spine. You're probably not getting that position. Um, so you may need to re regress it. You may need to put your butt back down. Maybe you do a couple breaths with your butt down. And then on the last one, you try to lift yourself up. Okay, just it doesn't look like much, but that little bit changes the physiology of this a lot. Now the progression is to bring your butt down. Now my hands are flat on the ground here. Same idea. Tailbone tuck. I'm going to set my belly button back here. So I think it's easier if I start with that, uh, I start from, you know, maybe a more advantageous position. And then my head comes up tall, and I push. <sighs> Same idea, don't let your lower rib cage come forward. That was an exaggeration, but sometimes it's not an exaggeration. I'm holding right here. Yeah. Uh, so again, you're looking for your upper back to expand. If you have that, then you know you have mastered that movement. And it's a good, uh, you know, I might call it a reset for somebody. It's a good way to position you uh, in a nice restful posture that will allow your shoulders to be mobile, and even helps support you on your wrists and hands and elbows when you're trying to do something that's a little bit more complicated like a handstand. So that is the long seated unsupported abs.